So first off, we removed... Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. And we just sold our house, and we are traveling across the country with our two kids. Hi, my name's Goose, and this is Maverick in Apollo. Come join us. Okay guys, before we head out of Albuquerque today, I've decided that I'm gonna go for our ride because I've heard that just on the other side of the camp, there is a giant national forest that has tons of trails. So I don't really know where I'm going exactly, but I'm gonna head out there and explore and hopefully have some fun. All right. Please be safe. Do you want me don't to do stupid a backpack things. with my phone and Yes, please. Things? Uh, don't do stupid stuff. Where is... Take the Ninja Turtles one. This is ridiculous, and I'm five feet in. Holy crap, you guys. This is insane. I am five minutes into the ride and I've already like hit my skill level peak and beyond. This is ridiculous. You guys saw me try and go up this earlier and on the second try I eventually did, I kind of had to walk it up. But I have never ever faced obstacles like this. Look at that, holy crap. Look at this. This drops down like three feet. I say it all the time, camera never does it justice, but I am not ready for that. So I barely made it up this right here. And I was hoping that maybe it would get easier a little further up trail, but it doesn't. So I'm turning around, gonna head back. I'm just trying to visualize the best place for me to go down. If I was super skilled, I could cruise right off this and wheelie it down, but I'm <laughs> not very super skilled. So, I don't know, I might have to crawl down that again. I'm not sure, but holy crap, this is intense. And this is designed, it's for hiking and bicycles and dirt bikes, but I'm gonna have to try and find a different trail because I can't do this yet, especially by myself.
while Daddy goes on his hopefully safe adventure, uh, this little one and I are going to read Dino Riders. Dino Riders. You want to tell them what Dino Riders is about? So apparently, Dino Riders. Dinos don't go extinct, mm -hmm. and then the people they ride the dinosaurs. Yes. And him, What's he his has. Name? A, Do you remember? Jo John. Josh. Josh. He rides. Um, Plotter. Plotter. Which is an iguanodon, right? No, what? they have an iguanodon ranch. I don't remember what he. What the. And so I'm going to probably try and start it. I actually signed us up for Book It. And it's not like it does anything or much. It's something that I remember doing as a kid in elementary school, and I absolutely loved it. So out of the week, you have to read five days for 20 minutes with your kid, which, which isn't that much. And we can totally do that, especially because we, when we stop, we try and find a book that she might like. So we'll hit up like a Barnes and Noble or... You know, if we see something. Or a bookstore or a book. Yeah, a bookstore. Um, and we'll try and find a couple of things here and there. Uh, we have a few on reserve that uh, we're going to get started with here soon. So we have a few in her bedroom that we still have to read. But we've read through a lot of them. And so we're just working our way through. She's excited to keep reading The Dino Riders. She's been loving it. And... The next time that we stop in town, I'm kind of excited to go get another one of them because she's been loving it. It kind of incorporates everything that she seems to really enjoy right now, which is, you know, horses, horseback riding. There's no horses in it. Unicorns. But the dinosaurs are the horses. And she's been loving dinosaurs. So, and that like Western feel to it, the cowboy feel. She loves cowboys and cowgirls. She, cowgirls. And so she is really having fun using her imagination with this. Plus, it has a lot of... of writing. Yes, it does have a lot. There's a lot of chapters. Um, it has a lot of vocabulary words that have really helped her expand her knowledge, I feel, which is amazing. So we'll stop. We'll talk about the word. I write it down. And then I use it in sentences later, and I have her use it in sentences later. Uh, just to practice vocabulary and it also teaches us about dinosaurs because there are dinosaurs in here that I have no idea what they are So we ask Google What they are what they are and we just kind of look look at them and figure it out. I'm losing my reader. Where are you going? She needs a drink of water. All right, so my route is I'm gonna go up here up that and then down that and hopefully I'll be good.
Yeah! Holy crap! This has been a very unique dirt bike video. I would say it's probably the most different one I've ever made because I show pretty much every single fail I have from trying to walk up these rocks to falling off the rocks to killing it to whatnot. I usually put some of them in there, but this one I didn't hide it at all because let me tell you, that first trail was so far beyond my skill level that it wasn't even funny. But this trail, oh my goodness you guys, this trail is amazing. I'm having a blast because it's like a mixture of the Pacific Northwest where I'm from meets uh, Phoenix, Arizona where I rode with Clintus. So cool. I love, this has probably been one of my favorite trails I've ridden on. Pretty close up there with the Pacific Northwest, but it's got more of that rocky, sandy dirt terrain, like I said, like Phoenix. And like little pieces like this where I'm like going down these big two foot drops. Like I've never done anything like this before. So extremely technical, but fun at the same time. So I'm kind of bummed that I'm only getting to come out here one day and ride because it would have been great to come back out here the next day knowing what I was doing and try and tackle these challenges, these more uh, technical trails, knowing what I'm getting into. And I feel like I would have done a lot better. And he had to come clean about the whole plan. He could still hear his dad's words ringing in his ears. What would that mean when you can, when you can still hear someone's words ringing in your ears? Does it actually mean your ears are ringing, or what do you think that means? I don't know. So say that mommy got after you for bringing a unicorn home. Bringing a unicorn home and trying to sneak it in your room, and I would go, "What were you thinking? Why would you do that?" So when you hear the words ringing in your ears, that would be what you heard. What were you thinking? Why would you do that? We can't have a unicorn in here. Yeah, it stinks. Yeah. It smells. It's got bad breath. Whew. All right, you guys. I am done riding for the day. We got the trailer all packed up. But now I got to get the bike back on. And this particular lot is not the most conducive for that because they're super narrow and they're tiered. So we got this like contraption set up with some wood and whatnot. And this is actually way easier than it was to lo unload it because when we were unloading it, the dirt bike was about four feet off the ground. Ooh, all right, we got that all tied up. Okay, I know some of you are probably wondering how the heck I got my dirt bike on the back of a fifth wheel. It wasn't the simplest thing in the world, but here's a quick one minute overview of how I have my dirt bike mounted on our trailer. So first off, we removed the stock bumper because it only has a weight capacity of like 50 pounds basically. So if you're putting on maybe a bicycle or a spare tire, you should be okay. But even then there have been uh, situations where that has come off while going down the freeway. So not good. We then reinforced the uh, weld point because originally this was the only thing here. We added this extra beam up here and welded this on and then bolted on the new bumper, which has a, I believe a 500 pound weight rating. And then from there, we have just your generic, I think it was like a $50 dirt bike rack mount that can go on the back of trucks or any normal hitch whatsoever. For those of you wondering, I have the high-low hitch attachment and the bumper is from Mountain Lock. I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested in that. It's been a great bumper so far. I've been using it for about three months, no issues. And then this little ramp, as you saw earlier, just comes off and we roll it up and it's got like a three or four point uh, harness attachment. We got these nice little quick release uh, tie downs and it's been great. Whew, okay. With that being said, let's take off from Albuquerque and I think we are headed to the Petrified Forest. Is that right, Mom? All right, you ready, Goose? Let's go! Let's go! 